Well, okay, it's called Dude Clem here, and I thought we'd do a little side video. Just take a little break from making the switch mode power supply thing. Anyway, I've accidentally fried the MOSFETs, and that lucky I have some spares so I can rebuild the circuit. But anyway, for now, just going back to the vacuum tube Tesla coil for a while. Now, because later on in this video, I'm going to be operating this from a rectified microwave oven transformer. I've had to up some of the components here. Now for the screen grid resistor, ideally I need 27k resistor at 20 watts. So what I've done is I've got these four 6 watt 27k resistors connected two in series, I mean two in parallel, then another two in parallel, then connected those in series. So I have the equivalent of a 27k resistor with plenty of wattage handling so it shouldn't burn up. I've made a new primary and a new feedback and to get the best magnetic coupling for this I've actually made it so I can slide these up and down like this as you can see so I can move these and it seems to work best about here so that's where I'm leaving it. And I've got the variable capacitor across the primary tune, so it's got the ideal resonant frequency, so... And to power the filament of the tube, which is a PL509, and requires 40 volts, I've got these two transformers here, connected in series, a little rectifier here, and I get about 43 volts on the filament, which is plenty enough. So let's just give this a little run on the low power, and then... We'll connect this to the microwave oven transformer. Let's see what kind of sparks we get. Okay, I'm plugging in the filament transformer. I don't know if you can see it glowing. That's sort of picking it up on the camera. We'll just let that warm up. And now we'll plug in the high voltage. At the moment, I'm only powering this on, I don't know, about 700 volts, something like that. So, all we've got to do now is plug this into 2,000 volts. Well, here we are in the shed with it set up. As you can probably see, I'm actually surprised there's enough light in here to make the camera film at 30 frames per second, but here we are. Just talk you through the thing. There's our main transformer, which is going to provide us with 20,000 volts. Rectifier diode. And that's going into this that you saw earlier. And this other transformer, this is another microwave oven transformer. With the secondary shorted out, it's connected in series with the primary of this one. So we have a nice ballast. And it's a bloody nice day out today. Trees haven't got any of their leaves on yet, but it's about 20 degrees out right now. Which is a big improvement from what it was a few days ago. It was only about like 6. Now it's about 20. That's about, I don't know, 70s or something. Anyway, enough rambling about the weather. Though I still cannot believe that some places have still got snow at this time. Can't say I envy those people though. I wouldn't live in one of those places if you paid me. Well, maybe if you paid me, but still. I'm rambling. I have absolutely no idea how well this is going to work. Anyway, I'm going to plug in the filament. And I've got the big main transformer on a surge protector. Which I'm going to plug in in just a minute. The only thing I am worried about is this might flash over. If it does, I'm not going to be very happy. But anyway, I'm not plugging in the 2000 volts or the diode might explode. It works! Uh, something is definitely doing something there. Let me give you a closer look at this. Of course, I'm standing well back from this thing, so I don't get shocked or anything. A bit worried about my camera. Don't know if this is going to bugger up my camera. A 
look at that. It works! There is my Tesla coil. Microwave oven transformer driven. Just gonna test the temperatures of some things. These resistors, yeah, they're perfectly fine. The diode. Stone cold. Just thought I'd do one with the door shut a bit so we've got less light. Are you ready? Beautiful. Alright, better stop that before it catches fire. Something is really carbon trapped right there. I don't know why, there's nothing there for it to do that with, but still. I'm gonna call that a success, and I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna edit this video, and then upload it to YouTube.